the prelude is coming along i'm slowly fixing stuff up restoring things and if you guys watched the last video i went ahead and painted and refinished the exhaust manifold so i'm actually going to be using the same paint on the calipers today i'm going to go ahead and respray these i spent some time probably about two months ago just cleaning up the calipers to see what they looked like underneath and they're not in bad shape actually you can tell the silver it used to be blue so you can see i polished off some of the paint that was on there there's one i haven't touched yet and you can see the uh, old paint is still on there so i'm basically just going to hit them with the wire brush some all-purpose cleaner and see if we can get them cleaned up and then we'll spray paint them i've got the rattle cans just chilling in the sun right now heating up getting the paint ready so hopefully this comes out pretty good it's kind of a hot day today so i'm just this is going to be a laid back video i'm not trying to move that quick and um just enjoying working on this car so stay tuned guys hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions about the process or anything i miss in the video put it down in the comments per usual and i'll make sure to answer your questions so now the wheels are off here's a better look you can tell i've polished off a lot of the paint that was on there you can see some of it left over so i'm just going to go ahead and hit this again with the wire brush and some cleaner and i'm going to do the same thing with the back what i'm going to basically try and do is do both sides at one time and then i'm going to switch the car around and do the other side so hoping that will speed up the process I finished off working on this front caliper. There's still some blue paint in the hard to reach areas, but I got about 90% of it off. All the rust is pretty much off. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with acetone and get it ready for paint. After acetone, this is how it looks. So one thing I wanna point out is these grommets here or these little, I'm not really sure what the technical term is. They're kind of like a washer, more of a cover, but they are rubber. And the last person who painted these didn't bother to, I guess, tape them up or anything. So they have blue paint all over them. And uh, unless I wanna sit here and scrub it with acetone, which I definitely do not, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually paint over it. Here's another example down here where they just didn't take the time. And it's unfortunate because I would have if they were still black, I would have covered them up with tape and made them look good, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'm just gonna paint over it and uh, make the best of it. Just cleaned up the back caliper on the same side, so now both calipers are ready for paint. This one was definitely a little bit harder to get all of the stuff out because I can't really, I mean, this is the brake pad, so I'm not too worried about that. Same deal with these rubber bushings. I mean, all of them are just covered in blue paint. And uh, the other thing is this dust shield. So I'm thinking about removing all the dust shields on all four parts of the car uh, altogether, just because I've heard that they're unnecessary. They don't really, I mean, yes, they're better for keeping dust off of your suspension and all that good stuff. Brake dust is what I'm talking about. I keep this car pretty clean. So my question to you guys is, is it okay to remove all of these dust shields? Cause I'd rather do that than spend all the time getting this blue paint off and even respraying them after that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take some plastic wrap, get these all taped off and set up so that way I'm not over spraying and then we can jump into painting. all taped up and ready to go. I've got both sides done. So why I wanted to do this, because it will definitely expedite the process, is I can do coats on each at the same time. So now I can do one coat, one coat, two coat, two coat. You guys definitely understand what I'm talking about. Instead of before on the BMW, I think I did one wheel at a time, which just took hours and hours and hours. But fun fact, um, these calipers, actually these calipers are really small. So I'm hoping this will work. But fun fact, I only have this much paint to go. 
So this is the same can of silver that I used on the exhaust of my F30, the exhaust manifold on the Prelude, and now I'm gonna attempt to do all of the calipers. It feels like I've got about a half a can left. So I'm gonna just um, probably try and do like two, maybe like two and a half-ish coats on all four of these. So that way I have enough paint to go around, but if it doesn't work, we're making a trip to the auto parts store. First coat, here we go. Oh, it's so windy. This sucks. Why are you windy? All right, first coat is done on the front. A little less windy back here. And that's it. First coat is done on both the front and the rears. I mean, I think you can already tell how much better that's gonna look. I think because this paint, for whatever reason, just lays on really nice, I'm actually already almost at 100% covered, so I think I'm just gonna keep it to two coats per caliper, so that way, hopefully I don't run out of paint, and then, um, yeah, I guess that's the plan. But this paint, actually, I don't know why, this works really great. I get, like, full coverage on this stuff after one hit, so, hell yeah. So I'm gonna let the paint dry for about three to four minutes in between coats, don't need to wait a long time, so it's pretty hot today. Like I said, I think it's like 95 degrees, 95% humidity. You boys sweating, but we're getting it done, making the prelude look better. Hasn't even been a couple minutes yet, and this is already dry to the touch, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the second coat. Again, if you guys are doing this, just make sure you do it in different angles and try and spray in different areas. That way you get full coverage. Don't just sit in the same spot and hit it. And of course, the wind's gonna pick up right as I'm about to start spraying. Typical. Here we go, okay. I think I've got some time now to spray it. Oh, here comes the wind. Gotta stop. And now the rear. Excellent, all done. I think this will actually work out perfectly. I feel like there's just enough to get me through two more calipers with two coats each. The satin clear, I might just do one coat on each one. I don't want it to be, it's not gonna come out super glossy. I tried putting like three coats on the F30 and it didn't really add any more gloss after the first coat. So if anything, it just made it feel kind of like tacky and um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use one coat, I think, of the satin clear and that should be good. It's been uh, about 10 minutes-ish, ten minutes -ish, so the paint feels pretty dry, and uh, the clear coat is ready to go on. So, sorry, I was just like putting my mouth in the camera. What I've learned with using this clear coat is it's not as forgiving as far as like blotchiness and being um, excessive in some areas. So with like the colored, like the silver for example, I can hit it in multiple spots and then hit the same spot again, and it won't really beat up or look blotchy but with this, it does. So what I recommend doing with this, especially because I'm just gonna do one coat, is I just wanna be as even as possible going down this, doing 50% overlapping layers, and uh, just try and do my best to get full coverage on the first go. Okay, now I'm just gonna hit the front. And then just one kind of overall pass. And I think that should do it. I'm just gonna throw one coat on this, so nothing crazy. And that should be good. I'm gonna let both of those dry for about five to 10 minutes just so they're dry to the touch. And then I'll go ahead and remove all the wrap and we can see what they look like and throw the wheels back on, flip the lute around and do the other side. First side is all done, ready to see it. Not too bad. Another little brake job, caliper refinishing, successful I would say. It looks kind of funny, I mean, I guess we got like three or two shades of blue, we got some silver going on, some rust colors, but hey, 
the calipers look a lot better. Here's a quick look at the rear. This one definitely looks even funnier. I just need some red to be uh, kind of with that red, white, and blue trend here. But uh, like I was saying before, I wanna definitely just cut off this dust shield. So if you guys think that's chill, put it down in the comments. Uh, obviously the hub, I can just, I'm actually just gonna get new rotors and pads soon. So no need to touch that. But again, the caliper came out pretty good. These things are remarkably small. These calipers are tiny. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look how small that is. Rain clouds, that doesn't look too good. Might have to hurry up on this side. But I just got everything moved around and I wanted to show you what it looks like, although there's not a whole lot of light, what it looks like before and after. So there's before on the back, there's before on the front, here's after on the front, and here's after on the rear. So I think it definitely looks a hell of a lot better. Definitely a major upgrade and these wheels are not that uh, spoke like I don't even know if that's a word but as you can tell these ones are way more open these ones are a lot bigger they have much bigger faces sorry guys I cannot talk today so you don't see the caliper as much but of course right now the wheel is sitting perfect so I can see the caliper great but 90% of the time usually one of these spokes is in front of it so um, definitely a little upgrade that just makes it look that much better I think with these storm clouds moving in I'm just gonna go ahead and bang out the other side and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards just because I don't want to get rained out. I tried this last time and when I was doing the F30, it started raining and it left some like water spots in the paint while it was drying. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and bang this side out and I'll catch up with you guys when it's all done. All finished now and luckily it didn't rain. It's definitely starting to thunder and stuff, but check out how it came out. This looks sick kind of with nose to nose going on, but here is how it looks behind, or yeah, behind the wheels with the wheels on. back looks pretty good you know same result as the other side or wait sorry that was the side I already showed you this is the side I just did so it's a little dark but as you can tell same quality definitely definitely much better than that obnoxious blue and rust combination that I had going on I think next up I'm gonna be finishing off the window trim I want to get that finished and painted so that way everything looks the same around the car and outside of that I'm just uh, really happy with how it's coming along. I really enjoy each of these little mods on the Prelude just to make it look that much better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you appreciated it or enjoyed watching it. Make sure you comment down below if you have any other mod suggestions for the Prelude or the F30. And as always guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time and keep elevating.